safety deposit boxes are a great idea for some precious items, but not all. Joining us now is Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. Good to have you here, Craig. What's your common sense on safety deposit boxes? Well, Angela, while safety deposit boxes might resonate with some as an antique or dare I say a relic, the reality is that many people continue to utilize them and there's some common sense do's and don'ts that I think people really need to consider. Let's start with the good, let's start with the do's. A safety deposit box does provide protection for things such as that baseball card collection that has value, or maybe things that have just sentimental value, those garbage pail kids from the 1980s. Pieces of expensive jewelry, I think they belong there too, but certainly some important documents, but not all. More on that in a minute. What are some of the items that you think should not be stored in a bank vault? Well, I would have to hope that many people learned a lesson as a result of COVID that banks, remember, they simply weren't open. I mean, if the bank only had a drive through you're not going in the bank to check out your safety deposit box. In natural disasters, they can and do happen. Think about the wildfires. And after all, banks today seem to have much more limited hours at their brick and mortar locations than they used to. And what do all those things add up to be? Simple. It's much tougher to get at things when you need them, especially in an emergency, and hence my list of don'ts, what not to keep in a safety deposit box. And at the top of the list has to be number one, cash. I mean, if you need money in an emergency, again, think of the pandemic and the bank has shuttered and closed its doors, you're not getting your dollars. I mean, not to mention that the money sitting in your safety deposit box isn't covered by FDIC insurance. And now that interest rates are viable, it's not earning any interest either. That makes cash a poor choice for a safety deposit box. Number two on my list, it's got to be the passport. And I know what you're thinking. You don't fly or travel abroad all that often, but what if you need needed to? What if there was an emergency? What if you had a loved one who was traveling overseas and got sick or injured and you needed to fly overseas to help them? You certainly wouldn't want your passport locked in a safety deposit box over a three-day bank holiday weekend. No, keep your passport somewhere on the outside. Last but certainly not least, I think about that last manuscript those wills, those trusts, the estate plan. There's nothing wrong with keeping copies of the estate plan in your safety deposit box, but what the kids call the OG, the original documents, those shouldn't be there because in many states and counties, it's the original estate documents that are needed and you don't wanna find out that your heirs are locked out of your safety deposit box because you were the only signer on the account. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. If you'd like to learn more, you can. Check out our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.